Tom's dish is an attempt to celebrate the pure breed Aylesbury duck. So he's using the crown, the breast, and the legs. I know it's a little bit of a risk. We haven't had a duck make course, I don't think. Go through before, and it's from the estate as well. It's an Aylesbury duck right from the center of Aylesbury. Last breeder of true Aylesbury ducks. Tom's even using duck fat to cook his chips. But Will's not convinced by his choice. Cooking them in duck fat, they're definitely not going to be good for you, are they? Well, it depends what you can as good, Will. Yeah, yeah. There's a sense of occasion about a banquet, and I don't know if chips are that fitting for it, whether they're good or not. Tom's desperate to make today's top three, but he's under no illusions about how hard the judges are to impress, not least Jason Atherton, whose exacting standards he had to try to surpass in the regional heats. He's a hard man to impress. Every day he was saying, I want a nine or a ten, and then gets sixes and sevens. It's like, oh, you, you're never going to get a ten out of uh, Jason Atherton Cowell. Tom makes a salad by tossing caramelized duck legs onto a bed of lettuce, mint, peas, and banana shallots. Then he crisps the duck breast skin, coats it in caramelized honey, and carefully slices it. The pea salad goes into individual pots and is garnished with pea shoots, while the duck breast is served on a board with little pans of chips. Don't drop it. Thank you. But well, does it look great? Looks great. Has it changed at all? Mm hmm I love the idea of this dish. I think the provenance uh, of having high-quality duck in this country is just great. Wonderful. I, I just think it's really... It just encapsulates everything. I mean, it's great for a banquet. I think it's easy to do. I think it's really simple cooking, and British cooking at its best. You wouldn't get this dish anywhere else in the world, apart from Britain. And I love this pea mixture because there's the duck skin in there and that gives Quite it crunchy. Isn't crunchy isn't this it? to me is absolutely what this competition is all about. Duck. Finding an ingredient that we're not seeing enough of and bringing it to the table of this quality. It is just so beautifully cooked. When I look at it, I want to eat it. I feel happy. And, and this banquet should be about happiness. It should be about celebration. And he's done all those things. And to me, the sauce is the thing that carries everything together because that sauce sort of works with everything. I could use it. I should be dipping the chips in it, actually. Well, I was, I was. Exactly what I was doing. What's wrong with me? Yeah. I'm slipping <laughs> up here. I'm just so relieved about this dish because I I loved it the first time and I love it this time. This is a chef who has really connected with his ingredients from the part of the world where he's cooking from. This is the sort of dish where I've eaten here in the judges chamber where I want to get in my car, drive to his restaurant and eat it again. So once again, Tom's dish has hit the right notes with the judges. But what will his rival chefs think? So tender. I'll tell you what, some of the best chips I've ever had in my life. So this is an amazing dish. Do you think uh, duck and chips is a royal enough for, for His Royal Highness? Definitely. This is definite so far top three for me. Big Tom Kerridge. Now there is a proper chef. Not only does he know how to go out and source really fantastic ingredients, but he also knows to cook them to perfection. He has the touch of an angel, and I think that deserves a nine. Matthew, I absolutely agree with you. I think that was a brilliant dish. Those chips were just to die for so i'm giving it a nine that for me was just absolutely near perfect so i give that a nine the quality of that duck those chips that sauce the presentation i love having duck in the banquet i think it's perfect for this occasion it's a 10. oh Ooh.